Sunflower Stampers and thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Sunday video. This is Laura Buchler of Inky Fingers Paper Crafting, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Nanaimo, BC. Today I'm going to show you how to make a vertical pocket fold card. I learned this from demonstrator Jan Clotier. I'm using the beautiful Pansy Petals Designer Series paper, which you can find on page 132 of your annual catalog. To make this fancy fold card, start with a full sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock and an additional piece of cardstock. This can be the same or a different color. And this measures one and a half by nine and three quarter inches. You'll also need a piece of white cardstock cut to four by five inches. For designer series paper, you'll need a piece that's five and a quarter inches square and a piece that's four by two and a quarter. You'll also want some extra pieces of cardstock for stamping and decorating your card. The first step is to cut this piece of cardstock at five and a half inches. So we end up with two standard card bases, five and a half by eight and a half inches scored in the center. Now the way this card is going to go together is like so. We're going to end up attaching these two rectangles together and cutting off here and here. So without attaching anything right now, take your ruler and your pencil and mark one and a half inches up from the bottom on each flap. I know it's very hard to see on this dark green cardstock, but I've made my two marks here. Now I'm going to use my trimmer, line up the pencil mark in my trimmer, and then line up that center score line as well and cut. Then we'll do the same thing on this side. Now, as I said, we're going to use adhesive to attach these two pieces together. Now, this little piece of designer series paper is going to attach right here. Eventually, these two pieces are going to be taped closed and so you won't see any more of the back of the card than just here. You could attach a whole piece of four by five and a quarter inches, but all of this down here is going to be hidden. So I prefer to use just a small piece and then I'm not using more of my paper than I need to. As for your square of designer series paper, you're going to cut it diagonally. One piece is going to attach here, and the other piece is going to attach here. need to make another little pencil mark of where to cut off that end piece. Now I'm going to use some tear and tape to create the pocket.
this is the pocket that our card is gonna slide in and out of, and this white insert is going to be our card. Now, because we've put some tape down at the bottom here, this white insert does not slide all the way in, and that's okay. You can just go ahead and trim off a little bit so that it will fit comfortably. Beautiful, okay. Now we can decorate this card. One thing that I like to do is put that card inside and then mark just a light pencil mark here so that I know anything above this mark is going to show when the card is closed. So if I want to stamp a sentiment here, I wanna put the sentiment either completely below this mark or completely above so that uh, it won't cut off in the middle. I'm going to use this one, wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you. Now the next thing I wanna do is put something decorative at the top. It's especially good if you can put something that's uh, sticking up above here to kind of show that you want somebody to, to pull that card out. So I'm going to do some die cutting and some of my pieces are going to use the uh, adhesive sheets as well and I'm going to assemble a pansy. Now there's one more part to this card I want to show you, which is the belly band. Now this is completely optional, of course, because you don't actually need a belly band to hold this card closed in any way, but it's also a fun way to add a little bit more decoration to the outside of your card. So what I'm going to do is stamp some of these beautiful smaller pansies from the Pansy Patch stamp set and I'll show you how those come together. Obviously, you can stamp these pansies with a lot of different beautiful color combinations. Here's a reference my teammate Diana created for just that purpose. I've got my belly band, I've got my pansies, now I need a sentiment. I'm once again going to use this happy birthday from the Pansy Patch stamp set and I'm going to punch out with the double oval punch to accentuate that.
and there's my finished card. Remember that you'll get a chance to win this card when you share the video. Leave a comment below to let me know that you've shared, and maybe I'll be sending you this card in the mail. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please drop me a comment below and let me know what you think. And if there's something specific that you'd like to learn about, just ask. Remember that you can purchase all the products shown on my website, inkyfingers.ca, where you'll also find more project tutorials, current promotional details and catalogs, and the sign up for my monthly email newsletter. I am not currently offering in-person classes, but you can visit my website to see all the different virtual events I am offering, including Creativity to Go, Mystery Stamping, and Bring Your Own Project. All of these classes are fun, social, creative, and welcoming. I hope to see you there soon. Find all of these details and so much more on my website. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'd like to invite you to join me on my Facebook page, Inky Fingers Paper Crafting. There are fun, creative challenges and other opportunities to win cards from me every week. If you do place an order, please use the current hostess code, which you can find on my website, because everyone who uses that code will get a free gift from me. If you'd like to earn your own hostess rewards, all you need to do is place an order of over $200 or contact me and we'll start planning your own online party. Drop me a line for more details. Have a great day, everyone, and happy stamping. Bye.